Hey everybody, I have a quick video on the unique constraint. The unique constraint ensures that all values in a column are all different. That's basically it. We can add this constraint when we create a table or after. Let's create a new table. Create table. Let's create a table of products. What products do we offer? We'll list the columns. Let's add a product ID. The data type will be int. Product name. The data type will be varchar, maybe 25 characters. Then a price. Price. The data type will be decimal. Our price will have a max size of four digits and a precision of two decimal places. To add the unique constraint, select a column after the data type, add the keyword unique. And that's all you have to do. With this keyword unique, we can't insert any product names that are the same. They all have to be, well, unique. Let's create this table. Let's say that you forget the unique keyword. Then you create the table. What you could do instead is type alter table, the name of the table, products, which we just created, add constraint, unique, the name of the column within parentheses, product name. If you forget to add a unique constraint to a column after you already create the table, this is what you can write. Uh, however, when I run this, I do have a warning. I already have a unique constraint on that column. But yeah, that's how you would add a unique constraint to a column in a table you have already created. Let's select our table. Select all from products. We have a product ID column, product name, and a price. Let's insert all of our values. Insert into the name of our table, which is products, values. We'll insert maybe four rows. We'll need a product ID, name, then a price. For a product name, we have a hamburger and the product ID I'm just making up a number is 100. The name is hamburger. The price will be $3.99. Fries will be our next item. Then we have fries. The price will be 189. 102 will be soda. The price is one dollar even. One o three will be ice cream. The price will be one forty nine. Let's test the unique constraint that we have added to the product name column. Suppose that I forget that I have fries on the menu already, and I will add another row. One o four fries one eighty nine. Actually, let me change the price to maybe something different, like 175. Here's what happens when I attempt to add two values that are the same. Duplicate entry fries for key products dot product name. MySQL is telling us that we have a duplicate under the product name column. We have fries twice. Since we added the unique constraint, all values in this column must be different. If I were to remove the last column where we have that duplicate, well, then this would run just fine. Now let's select everything from products. Yeah, there we go. Here are the products. We have a hamburger, fries, soda, and ice cream all on the menu. So yeah, that's the unique constraint. You can add that constraint when you create a table or after. Whatever column has that unique constraint, all the values need to be different. So yeah, that's the unique constraint in MySQL.